I'm going to show you today is how I'm wrapping the handle of these Tommy Hawks. Now, I've done this one already. This is my first one. And I noticed that the blade on the Tommy Hawk right here is facing this way. And I put my lace on the back side of the Tommy Hawk. Well, once I got it on there and I could feel it, it feels a lot better with the, with the lace towards your fingers for a grip. So, so I'm just going to leave this because this was my first one. It turned, it turned out pretty good. But the next one that I'm doing, I actually have two of these McCown Tommy Hawks. They're pretty badass. I need a little, a little look at what they actually look like. And that's your blade and everything. Like that. And these are combat tested Hawks. Pretty badass. This is sharp enough to where you're going to want to definitely keep this guard on here. So they came with a paracord um, grip. And I didn't like that and I wanted to put leather on it. So I thought real hard and I did a little bit of research and everything. And I came up with this idea right here. Now I've seen somebody do something similar to this with a paracord. And they put some uh, men wax, wood hardening resin on it when they were done and it actually hardened up and it held everything into place really nice and everything so I'm gonna try that actually on a couple of these scrap pieces of leather to see what it does before I actually put it on my handle and uh, so so what I did and I'm gonna show you how I did this was the first thing you're gonna need is some nice thick ass leather like this a pair of scissors and if you look at this, I've already cut and made this piece for this handle right here, for this hook. And if you look at the handle, you'll notice that it's thicker at the top and it tapers down. So I, thought, so, that, so I actually cut my piece of leather to match it. It's thin on one side. It's more narrow on this side than it is on this side. So when I wrap it around like this, and, and it's actually got a hole in the handle here. And I cut hole in the handle here. And if you look at it, when you cut it, you want to leave a gap, a space like that. Enough space to stretch the leather when you're putting it on. And the reason is because you're going to take this piece of leather and you're going to put it in this water right here and soak it. And what that does, it softens it up so it stretches. And then when it dries, it draws up and it gets tight. So, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your piece of leather like this, and you're gonna just take a pair of scissors. You're gonna you're gonna measure it out when you wrap it around, and you're gonna cut it with a pair of scissors, right? And then the next thing you need to do is have one of these. It's a, po a hole punch for leather, and I actually use the the biggest hole right here because it spins around. You see, so you spin it around. Adjust it to the biggest hole, right? And then I took a, a ruler so I can ha make sure that I've got all my holes across from each other in a straight row. And the same amount of holes on this side as on this side. See, I learned when I did this one that you need to get the amount of hole, same amount of holes on each side. Because if you look right here, I got an extra hole and I had to skip down to the end. Well, that's fine because it's got that rustic, antique, fucking rugged look, you know. So now that I got my piece of leather all cut and everything, I'm going to take a draw head and I'm going to drop it into this thing of water. I'm going to let it sit in there for about five minutes, or as long as it takes me to smoke a cigarette. And when I come back, I'm going to, I'm going to get a piece of this cord. And you can buy it in rolls. As you see, i got a whole roll of it right here. But this piece of cord right here, i got about, say, about four feet long, like that. And the first thing I'm going to do when I'm putting it on my Tommy Hawk is I want to fish it through this hole right here. Just like that. I'm going to pull it through until I got the equal amount of length. And, you know, you might like the way that I laced it, or you might want to lace it a different way. It's kind of like doing shoes. I laced it in a way... When I did this one, I started on the thick part, 
and I came from this hole, and I came under on the first holes, and then went over to the next two holes, under to the next two holes, and then over, then under. So it, so it's under, under, over, over, under, under, over, over, under, under, over, over, and it makes these squares, these 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 crisscross X's, which I like. And shit like that, and it leaves a piece inside of here, and then it, when you get down to the end, you tie the motherfucker right like that. You know, I had hoped that I could have went through the second hole, but what I noticed is that as I squeezed it, motherfucker, as you're going through, you're squeezing it one hand and you're pulling it tight. It actually stretched the leather this way, longer. So it started off being short enough to go between the two holes, but then it actually got down to where it actually stretched it out this way. So the idea is, is that this right here will hold it from sliding up the handle, and it shouldn't slide up the handle. It'll hold it from sliding down the handle, and because it's tapered, it won't be able to slide up the handle. So I'll try it like this at first, and I'm going to try the resin and shit like that. And on a scrap piece now, you don't want to put it on the piece of, on your fucking finished work and then take a chance that the shit don't work and you fuck up everything you did, you know. But um, this is where I'm at right now. And you can actually, when the leather's wet, if you keep on gripping it with your fucking hands, you can kind of get, you, you just kind of mold and conform the shit to your fucking handle, you know. And you could do this on a walking stick or... um just about any kind of stick or handle that you want to put the shit on. Motorcycle handle, walking stick, Tommy Hawk for bashing brains, or whatever you want. This right here is a, actually the, a fucking Alpha Navy. Uh, it's, it's a fucking pretty badass uh, Tommy Hawk made by McCown, McCown in Virginia. And uh, so we're going to wait for that piece of shit right there, that piece of leather to fucking soak in that uh, water. And then I'm gonna, we'll come back and I'll show you how I stitch it. Now I've done soaked my leather. I want to fucking, since I've gone through the hole of the handle, I'm going to go through the first hole on the wider side and it tapers down like this from the underneath and pull it up. Then I'm going to go over and through the second hole. like that. Don't pull it through like this. Pull it through like that. Continuing in the direction you want to go. And over on the second one. Just like that. And as you're going down, you're going to pull it, pull your handle tight in your cord. And the next one will be under, then over, under, then over, all the way on down like that. All right. So now that I've done finished and done laced it on the blade side, so when when you're gripping it, it fits in your hands and fits in your fingers like that, and it's still wet. And you can see it goes over, under, over, under, over, under like that. And as you're doing it, and you're pulling it. You're, you're pulling your leather like this and squeezing it together as you go down and it's forming that leather and pulling it tight around the handle and stuff. Went through the hole all the way down, laced it all the way down, and then went through the handle over here in this hole and knotted it. So when it's dry, I'm going to put some wood stabilizer on it or wood hardener, some wood hardener or epoxy or something like that to tighten it up and hold that knot together and just make everything all fucking hard and shit and everything so this was my second one my first one i did is this one it's starting to dry a little bit you can see this one's on the back side of the handle away from the blade and when you're holding it i guess when you're swinging it kind of holds in your hand better on your palm but it doesn't feel as good this one right here because it's in your fingers when you're swinging like that it just fucking feels better and shit like that when you're chopping and shit so Another thing you do while it's still wet is grip it and fuck with it. Just keep squeezing it and shit like that. And and it'll and you can actually fit it to your fucking hand and shit, to your fingers and stuff. And uh so if you like this video, subscribe to GitGo TV and hit the like button and leave a comment and if you got any questions I'll get back with you with an answer and stuff like that. 
and you subscribe and shit and look at some of my other videos. I'm going to make some more videos and stuff down the road on how to do more shit. Y'all have a good day.